Now, this is very unique and an interesting topic tonight because y'all have been asking me to have someone on the show. And I was like, you know what? What a better what a better night than tonight to have Dr. Mac here from Face of Beverly Hills because we're going to talk about new ways mixed with ancient techniques that are going to give you a better face. Can we say that, Dr. Mac? Pull up your mic and welcome to Max and Friends on LA Talk Radio. Hey, Max. How are you doing tonight? Good. How are you? Just great. Glad to be here. Well, we're glad you're here. And you know what? We, we're glad you're here because we want you to tell us about these amazing techniques that you do at Face of Beverly Hills, where you mix in some oriental medicines. You take the ancient root of medicines and mix them with modern day technology, so to say, don't you? Exactly. We try to provide a lot of complementary alternative medicine care that can benefit our patients in with traditional surgical and laser techniques so they can have a more speedy and rapid recovery and have a greater degree of results, too. Now, why don't you tell us, because all you all do there is exclusively facial surgery, correct? Exactly. Facial plastic surgery, laser surgery, minimally invasive procedures, those sort of things, Botox fillers, all that stuff. And now, why do you just stick to the face? It visible part of the body. You can't hide it with a uh, cloth. You can't hide it with clothing. It sits there and it demands perfection. So we try to provide as uh, much hands-on boutique type care in this area so we can provide a high volume practice that has great deal of expertise in a very specific area such as the face. Having done this for 23 years, we've been around the block. It's not our first time on the rodeo. Now, speaking of, you know, everyone has a concern about a doctor. And when we spoke yesterday, you were telling us that people can go right online to the state medical board and find out about their doctors. So is that simple? It is. It is. Whatever state they're in, every state has a state medical board, whether it be California, New York, Georgia. You can get online. You can click in and then they will always have a uh, place that says find your doctor. And you can put it in by name, first name, last name, geographic location and it will pull up all the information about that doctor related to the state medical board. So it's that simple. It's like Carfax for your cars, everyone. Check out, (laughs) check it, check it out, check it out. (laughs) The state medical board. Now, you know what? Completely objective. Yeah. Completely objective. And that's, that's good. It's good to know that there's a place where you can go to find out who's going to cut their face. Speaking of cutting their face, you know, we've been getting a lot of Twitter questions and people are concerned that, for instance, and we were speaking about this yesterday, but how they, if they're a smoker and they want to go in to get a treatment or some kind of surgery, they need some advice, Dr. Max. So can you give us some advice about drinking and smoking prior to getting your face done? Surely, yeah. Smoking is not a good thing. It is obviously one of the worst things for the general health. It ages you. It makes your skin wrinkled and saggy and older much quicker. When it comes to doing procedures with someone who is a smoker, it's always best to try to have them completely eliminate smoking for a good two weeks at least prior to a procedure and for at least another week to two after a procedure. Now, that being said, some people are not going to do it. So if they can at least minimize or cut down as much as uh, smoking as possible, that's the best that some people will do. Now, certain individuals with other medical conditions, say that have diabetes or some other form of chronic illness that causes their immune system to be suppressed, smoking is even worse for those folks. So those people may very well need to be deferred or turned down for surgery if they don't comply with the smoking requirements or recommendations. Alcohol is a little different subject, primarily uh, for a, a mild or social type of drinker. It's more potentially mild bruising, being more of a uh, problem after a procedure if they are intaking alcohol in the three to five days before surgery. But otherwise, uh, the main thing is about three to five days of no alcohol ingestion prior to a procedure is good. That way it's cleared from the system and they'll be less likely to bruise or or swell or have any sort of, you know, bleeding and issues during the procedure, such as what might cause a hematoma or a blood collection. Y'all hear that people quit smoking and just slow down on the drinking. <laughs> so, now, the red wine. Red wine is the worst because it has the most uh, effect on the blood elements for thinning the blood. It's like the French paradigm. Tell us about it. Exactly. Yeah, the, the, the French paradox in that the French, who have some of the lowest rates of heart disease and heart attacks in the world, 
ingest some of the most uh, high quantities of saturated fats, such as with butter, bread, carbohydrates, but they also almost daily, even when they're younger, in sort of a watered-down wine situation with people who are, you know, in their latter teens and then on through adulthood, almost have a daily ingestion of wine of some sort, especially red wine. So that paradox that they have high fat and carbohydrate ingestion, but really low heart disease rates is has been uh, found to be responsible to uh, to the red wine or to wine principally ingestion. So American diet is completely different. And obviously it, it has a big uh, reaction to how we gain weight in our face. Now, what would you say is the most common surgery you perform at Face of Beverly Hills? Most common would be that of a uh, minimally invasive face. They do a very gentle, delicate face lifting technique that has a quick recovery, oftentimes is done under just a local type of anesthesia or maybe a very mild twilight, kind of like a colonoscopy or a wisdom tooth type anesthetic. Mm -hmm. uh, would be probably the most common procedure we do, followed by laser techniques on the skin of the face to help rejuvenate it for people who don't quite need surgery yet. So what would make you unqualified for not getting surgery? It is very age and uh, your, your, your appearance, your chron not your chronolo chronologic age, but your visible age. There are some people, say, even in their early 40s and late 30s who may have had injury, such as car accidents, who may have had very bad acne when they were, say, early teens all through their 20s, that their skin, even though they may be 38, may look like a 49-year-old skin. And they may be amenable to a very lifting technique or a combination of a, a light lifting technique with lasers. Uh, otherwise, there's some people who genetically may be walking in the door in their mid-50s, and they barely need a facelift at that age. So the uh, three Ds of aging, as we say, descent with gravity, deterioration with like ultraviolet light, smoking, tobacco, things that bring the collagen in the skin down, and deflation, which is as we age, the fat pads in the face and the neck and areas minimize and, and shrink. So as we deflate, the skin envelope around it comes down. Those three Ds of aging tend to make one very individualized. So some people may be 42 and very much need a facelift. Some people may be 51 and just barely needing a facelift. So we have to analyze each person individually and customize and basically couture, as we do in our practice, a boutique treatment plan for that individual. It's fascinating. Now, speaking of 3Ds, you know, there's the PRP or what people call the Dracula facelift. Absolutely. Great stuff. We do that in our office all the time. And now how simple is it? What it is is basically very simple. We take a blood sample, just like if you went to a laboratory and gave some blood for some routine laboratory tests. And then with a specialized centrifuge device, it provides us within about 15 minutes a highly concentrated uh, serum containing your own platelets. So there's no ability to have any uh, blood-borne illnesses transmitted. There's no ability to react to it in an allergic fashion because it's your blood that's being processed right there on site and then transformed into these highly concentrated platelets that can then be re-injected into the face, into the skin, into the areas to be rejuvenated. The platelets have about seven to nine growth healing factors in them that help to do everything from reduce inflammation, speed healing, help bring extra oxygen to the area, and actually it's one of the few proven technologies that will actually bring stem cells into the area and allow them to provide additional healing for whatever's going on, whether it's just purely injecting them to improve skin texture and tone, or whether we're combining it to say fat transfers or fat injections into the face of one's, one own, uh, one's own fat, or with laser techniques to help provide a greater degree of healing than one would get just with their normal immune system. It supercharges the immune system. Now, speaking of healing, you've created something called the healing clay, the Dr. Mac mask. Tell us about it. Yeah, it's a very, again, that idea of fusion of Oriental and Western medicine. It's a couple of things in there, about 33 different essential oils and Chinese healing herbs that I've worked with some acupuncturists to help design. It's uh, these healing herbs and essential oils help to improve the chi or the energy of the skin. They help to tonic 
how the immune system and detox the face. And then they're all mixed with what's called bentonite clay, which is one of the natural earth healing clays. And these healing clays are very miraculous almost in that if you look at pretty much any indigenous population, whether it be the Aborigines in Australia, the American Indians, obviously in America, or some of the groups in Africa and Eastern Europe, they all, their shamans, their healing men, all have prop, all have methodologies built around these and poultices made of earth to speed healing and to provide cures for illnesses. So these clays, uh, of which uh, the one I utilize is bentonite clay, are highly uh, charged silica molecules. So they're very strong in detoxing the body. They've been used for centuries, even the uh, accident victims from Chernobyl with radiation poisoning had clays of this nature utilized both externally and taken orally to help with radiation poisoning. So they've been around for hundreds of years, and they, mixed with the Chinese herbs and the essential oils, have been very healing for after surgeries. But my patients, even after their surgeries, are like, can we still use it? We just love the toning and the energizing it makes our face feel like. So it's like, sure, keep using it. Makes a great daily mask or about three times a week mask, really. Now, do we have to be a patient of yours to get it or can we get it online? You can get it online. It's about to go on my website, uh, www.faceofbeverlyhills.com, as a product there uh, that it can be purchased. Wonderful. Well, everyone, again, that was faceofbeverlyhills.com. We have Dr. Mack here with us tonight. We want to thank you for giving us some informative ways to look younger and to feel sexier because people have been asking and tonight's the night to do it. So we're glad you're able to join us here on Max and Friends, Dr. Mack. Face of Beverly Hills is where you could find him. And I hope people come into you and see you. And I'm going to check out your mask because I think it's going to be a great gift for some people that I know. So I'm definitely <laughs> going to check that out. And I thank you for joining us tonight, Dr. Mack. It is my pleasure. Look forward to it again sometime. You have a great night, Max. Absolutely. We're definitely going to have you on. We're just running out of time here. That's why we got to wrap things up because, you know, Taylor was on and we played some songs. But we're glad we had you for the time we had you. You have a great night, and we're going to talk to you real soon. You too. Take care.